Every woman I know has been accused of giving someone blue balls. The phrase isn't intended as an insult, but rather a motivator, a last ditch effort to continue what's happening. Please don't give me blue balls. It's something a good majority of sexually active women have heard in their lifetime. So today we tackle this conversation with my favorite primary care provider and advanced practice family nurse practitioner, Lily Harmon. Are men just creating excuses to have sex or find release, or are blue balls actually a thing? And if they are, what are some of the best ways to get relief, right? Guys, stay tuned to this one. It's going to be good. So really good to see you and thanks for showing up on my channel one more time. The guys loved you, by the way. Okay. <laughs> How are things going? Thanks for having me. Great. I'm super, having a great time. Super, super, super. Let's jump right in. Let's do it. So, so blue balls, let's talk about it. I mean, this is something that I, I personally have heard a lot in my lifetime. And sometimes it almost sounds like a broken record, right? Um, you're having a fun time with a guy and then next thing you know, oh, you know, blue balls. Da, da, da. Is it actually a thing or is it? Is it a myth? Is it an excuse that men use to sort of keep things going, you know, in the bedroom? So there's actually some science to it. Blue balls is the slang term for what the medical community calls um, epididymal hypertension, which is basically, you know, tension in the blood, the veins that um, run in that area. Um, and I'm thinking you probably have other questions related to that. So. Absolutely. So it's just the way you mention it happened. <laughs> Epididymal hypertension. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure if I can even, time. you know, get that going, but it's all good. So um, do the testicles actually turn blue? Is that, what, is that where it gets its name from? So they shouldn't. If what, what men have described to me is that there is a discomfort when that is happening in the scrotum, in their testicles. There's a discomfort, there's um, some tension in there. They, the, the balls or the testicles feel heavy. Okay. It's, it's just, a, just a lot of tension, stress in the testicles. Okay. Um, and that happens because the, when a man is aroused, blood rushes to that area. Okay. And it is relieved by ejaculation. So when blood stays in that area for an extended period of time, there's, you know, tension in the veins and arteries in the area. This tension okay. has the epididymal hypertension. Oh, right. Um, and no, they don't turn blue. However, in the event that your testicles start to turn blue, there, there are occasions that we see blue. Okay. Um, and that will happen if there is uh, what we call testicular torsion. That is completely different. That's where the little sperm ducts get twisted on themselves, which it happens wow. sometimes. Um, and then they're, they knot themselves up and it's very painful. So if you have sharp pain, that bluish purplish hint to your testicular area, go to your doctor. Wow. Don't wait on it. Don't try to, it needs to be looked at. Right. Okay. Uh, but so what causes that? Is, is It's just the, the rush of blood into the testicles that yes. causes the tension yes. and inadvertently the blue balls, right? Yes. That, that people, that people experience. Okay. So that's an actual thing. It should, it's not painful. It's, it's uncomfortable just because it's now the sack is heavy. Did and you say it's not painful? It's actually not painful. There's no. So, so guys have been lying to yes. us women all this while. Sorry guys. No, is that actually true? <laughs> there's no, there's no actual pain because pain is related to the the other one I talked about. Right, testicular torsion is right. painful. That's re re without a doubt. Blue blue balls are it's it's uncomfortable. It's just it's just this heavy feeling because blood is in the area waiting for ejaculation. It's not happening. Times like two hours, three hours. Like come on, you know, hmm. it's released by that relief of coming as right. it were okay how long does it typically last i mean so and i was talking to my my urologist friend basically if if you have that tension and nothing happens or you don't get to have relations with your person and it goes on and on you can just distract yourself or you know just fly solo are there any um symptoms that we're supposed to like that guys, you know, feel if they're going through that. 
Yes, like I said, the heaviness is what um, many of my patients have described to me. Just like the balls just feel heavy. They're just hanging low and it's, it's uncomfortable because they're, they're, it's like hanging fruit. Mm. So I can only imagine, I don't have a pair myself, so I can imagine when it's heavier, hangs lower and it, it's uncomfortable. But right. as far as pain, it should not be painful. If you are having pain, go to your doctor, please. All right, so at this point, if there are any guys watching, and I'm sure all the guys are watching right now, um, <laughs> let me know if you've ever experienced blue balls for one and if it's actually been painful for you, right? Because I, I want to, you know, test a little theory in studio today. That's so great. just let me know. Um, okay, that's great. What's the difference between blue balls and priapism? So priapism is what happens when you have had an erection for too long. Um, it is said that anything over four hours, you're stressing it. Um, you're pushing it Some too far. Some men have you erection should... for four hours? Yes. If, 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 when you that listen... cannot be relieved by, say, masturbation? It should be able to be relieved by masturbation or sex, one form or the other. Mm. Um, but occasionally, some medications, some people on certain medications um, will experience just an erection that won't quit. Right. Um, and we've had a few come into the ER where we've had to literally go in and drain the penis of that blood so that it'll set back down because Weird. it gets more and more and more painful as the hours go by. Okay. So, so what are, I mean, the easiest ways to get relief if you have or you're experiencing blue balls? Because, well, now you're telling me that it's not painful as a lot of men would like us to think as it's women. It's frustrating, I can imagine. Yes, <laughs> but certainly not painful. How can men get relief from blue balls, be it instant relief or just relief that, you know, comes with time and certain practices? Um, first off, I mean, the, it's what you can do yourself. Um, like I said, fly solo. Once the release has happened, everything just goes Calms back down. to um, normal. Mm. Um, and another way that, and this was told to me by older men who are more mature sexually, or like, just take your mind off it and let everything just calm back down. Mm. Distract yourself. It's that easy? Yes. So well, guys don't make it seem so. I'm well, just saying. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we love you. <laughs> okay, so masturbation, um, distraction, distraction. Just calm yourself down. Um, sometimes the the tension plus whatever the situation is adds to the whole drama of everything. Mm. So you know, remove yourself from the situation. Just take a minute. Does step it, away. Will a cold compress or a shower work? Yes, cold showers. Definitely cold showers. Okay. <laughs> I've had, I've had a, a guy was like, tie one on, tie one what? Just tie a penny to the head of your penis and let it drop. What? <laughs> yeah. I hear things. <laughs> you hang out with the weirdest people. But yeah, let's not even get into it. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, what about exercise? Would, would, would that help? That will distract you, yes. That will be an excellent way to relieve. Or, yes. Okay. Can women get blue balls yes technically because just like men when a woman is aroused blood will rush to that area to increase sensitivity to increase like get you ready for action so there is a rushing of blood to the genital area to prepare you for the the um, intercourse or whatever is about to happen mm. um, and again the release or a distraction or stepping away from the situation same thing um, is it uncomfortable? It's annoying um, when you're, you know, you're aroused, you're ready to go, and your partner's just like, eh, not tonight, Josephine. Or can't get it up. <laughs> or can't get it up. It gets frustrating. <laughs> um, and you're just like, yeah. So there's the, for women, it's frustration. We don't have pain or discomfort like the men may have. Um, but, yeah. Mm. And I've, I've heard their names like uh, Pink, Vulva... What was it? Uh, <laughs> like we don't call it blue balls for women, but there's call, like pink vulva. There, there's some other name that I, I, mean, I came across. <laughs> it's quite interesting, but I mean that's not the vulva. center of the conversation. But like, yeah, probably blue vulva or something. I don't know. Although if you say blue <laughs> vulva, there's there's a, a, a 
blue waffle is that's something completely different. Yeah, I think that's I know actually about a that. disease. Yeah, that's Ooh. that's not yeah. blue vulva. Yeah, call it what you will. It's annoying. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even show that on screen because no, it's please just don't. it's yeah, that's, yeah, that's it's really a bad. Whole other disease. Have you heard of any myths really surrounding blue balls? That you think we can bust? I am over 50 years old. I, some days I think I've heard it all, but <laughs> just when you think you've heard it all, someone walks into the clinic. You're and over goes, 50? What? Wow. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so do tell. What, what, are, what are some of the things you're hearing? Um, and, and this is usually from like teenagers or the younger men who some way, somehow it's in their heads that it's a thing and they believe it. And it's like, you know, um, you just tell her she has to do this. And no, she doesn't have to do anything. Um, you can go take care of yourself. There's a bathroom right there. <laughs> but yeah, men try to make it seem like, you know, it's your fault. And if you don't let me do it, you're killing me. And right. That's not true. I'm sorry. Yeah. So ejaculation is, is excellent. Um, if you can ejaculate by yourself or with others, do it as often as you can because the, there is some scientific proof that it improves prostate health. Hmm. Um, Does every man experience blue balls? Is every, this something that like almost everyone's gone through at some yeah, point yeah, in their a, adult yeah, life? It's part of our anatomy. So hmm. yeah, whether they acknowledge or recognize it as such is another. Right. Um, yeah. Right. But it does happen. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, I hope you found this episode um, informational. Uh, if you did, please share it with another guy who needs to know the quick and easy ways to find relief so you don't have to bother your partner so much, especially if she's not like, you know, up for it. And uh, yeah, um, share it with someone else. Just smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you definitely on the next video right here. Lily, thank you so much for making time. As Thanks always, we'll see you again soon. Yay. <laughs> My name is Jessica. Thanks for watching.